Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with My HomeKit Home and if you couldn't tell from the intro, today's video is all about how to manage HomeKit notifications. We'll be looking at how to manage them within Apple's Home app, but also on your device's settings. So I'm pretty excited about it, let's get into it. All right, so let's get this thing started from the Home tab in the Home app and we'll tap the Home Settings icon at the top left and we'll scroll down till we get to our notifications and we can see here that we have the sensor option if you do have a lock or a garage door or a contact sensor labeled as a door that will also appear here so we'll tap on that one and we have a few different sensors here we see we've got quite a few different motion sensors if we tap on one of those we can see that we have our time conditions just like with our automations and if we choose during the day or at night, we can also adjust the day or the night in 15 minute increments up to one hour, either before or after sunrise or sunset. And so we'll go ahead and put it back to normal there and we'll tap cancel. And we can see that the same is true for at night as well. We also have the option to set up a specific time window, for example, if maybe you only wanted notifications in the morning, so between 8 a.m. and you know, 12 p.m., that could also work as well. Turning our attention now to our people condition, we can decide whether or not we want the notifications to be off, which would be that there is no people condition, or when somebody is at home, when I'm at home, when nobody is at home, or when I'm not home. Right, let's go ahead and take a look now at what our leak sensor looks like. So we'll go to the main bathroom leak sensor and tapping on that we can see that we have the exact same conditions. We have all of our time conditions as well as our people conditions. If we go over to our contact sensor we can see that we have the exact same conditions as well. But not a huge difference in terms of what we can do between the different sensors, but useful nonetheless. That's how we can adjust notifications in the home settings. Why don't we go ahead and look at another way that we can access them, and that's through the Rooms tab on the devices themselves. So here we are in the bedroom. We can tap on our motion sensor, and if we go down to the bottom, we can see that we can add it to favorites and we have our status and notifications. Now, favorites is kind of another way of getting notifications, although they're not the pop-up notifications that we're used to. If you're interested in that, I've got a video linked in the description box that'll help you with that. But what we can do once we tap on status notifications, we can decide if we want to add it to the status, which the status is the bit of detailed information that we have on the home tab. Or we can also look at our conditions, our time and our people conditions, the same as we could before. And the same thing applies for all types of sensors. So if we go and look at our leak sensor, we'll see that we in fact have the same parameters there. And wouldn't you know, if we go over to our contact sensor, the same rules apply. In the settings, we can go down and we can see that our status and notification menu is exactly the same. Now that we've had a look at how we can manage notifications in Apple's Home app, let's have a look at how we can manage those notifications on the iOS device itself. Jumping into our device's settings, we'll tap on notifications. And we'll scroll all the way down through our numerous amount of apps that we have here until we find home. Uh, let's see, there we are there, right in the middle. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. We have a few different options. We can allow and disallow notifications. We can also look at our alerts and how they're presented. So if they're presented on the lock screen in Notification Center and as banners when you're using the device. If you do have banners enabled, we do have the option here of choosing whether or not we want the banners to stay temporarily or to be permanent until we address them. So if we tap back, we can see that we can also enable or disable sounds and badges as well. And then scrolling down to our bottom here, we have different options for how the notifications are previewed. So if we tap on show previews, by default it is always showing previews or we can have it show previews only when the device is unlocked or never. 
Going back to our options, our next option on our list is for notification grouping. Now, by default, this automatically goes to automatic, which will group it however the app decides it wants to be. With home, I didn't discern any particular grouping patterns. Um, so that's something for you to know there. And then we also have a link to get back to our home notifications, which takes us back to the home settings tab to start all over again. So if you're familiar with the channel, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of automations and notifications play a big role in that. I really like being notified whenever something's happening and I like the added ability to know when something's happening if I'm only away from home or if I'm only home, depending on the type of sensor that it is. Something you definitely wanna keep in mind with notifications is that they are device dependent. For example, if you have multiple devices signed into the same Apple ID, you'll need to set up those notifications on that specific device. And the same thing goes for other people who have been invited to your home. They'll need to set up their notifications on their devices but there's a lot that can be improved upon. First, I would like to really see some notifications based on things that aren't certain sensors or locks or garage doors. For example, I would like to know if a light has been turned on. Second, I'd really like Apple to bring notifications that are based on different scales, different percentages of different devices. For example, I'd like to see notifications for, you know, when there's a specific temperature outside. I'd like HomeKit to be able to tell me that. That'd be really nice. Or if, if you know, my blinds or the garage door was at 50% or 25%, that'd also be really nice to know. And lastly, I'd like to see notifications based on when an automation runs. So it's nice that the automation runs, but I'd like a notification if I'm not home, for example, to know that the automation ran. So how do you use notifications in HomeKit? Let us know in the comments down below. Also in the description box down below, we've got some links to other videos that you might find useful in terms of notifications and kind of knowing what's happening in your home as you go throughout your day. Also in the description box, you can find links to all of our social media on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we have a ton more content over at the blog at myhomekithome.com. As always, if you found the content useful, give us a like, a share, and a subscribe. And until next time, this has been Dustin with My Home Kit Home.